Okay, here we go. Kayla Williams versus the Panthers. He looked much better today. Much better than the last time I watched him versus the Colts. As you can see right here, he's balanced in the pocket. Look at that right there. Great footwork. Watch the ball. It's on the money. He is DJ Moore in stride. And DJ scores. Touchdown. Your receiver's going to love you if you can get a ball like this. They're not going to be fine with you. Another great decision right here. Good eyes. Let's go back. Good job using his eyes to hold the linebacker. He fits that ball into a tight window. And look, more space for DJ Moore to create. Get your receiver the ball in space and good things will happen. That's a tough throw right there, but he makes it work. He looked much better this game, much more comfortable. Escaping the pocket, moving around. These are some great movement, positive movement. A little bit different than what he was doing earlier in the season where he sort of gets a little panic and just run around in circles. That's a first down right there. Great play. You're making good plays. Another one right here. Good move. Hesitation. You froze, the, you froze the DB, and then you run around them. Use your speed. Another first down. These are positive plays. This is something you can build off of. You want to see your number one drafted quarterback make plays and make you encouraged about the future. This one right here, this is a little rookie mistake right here. This ball would get picked off 90% of the time. But, hey, everyone's going to make a bad throw here and there. Just don't make it a habit. I like this right here. He hits the right receiver, but if he throws his ball up the field, it's a touchdown. 85 has everybody beat. The coverage is beat. It's a touchdown. One thing I got to say, though, he's having a great game against the Panthers. The Panthers is a bad team. They're structurally just bad. This is a great throw right here, though. Mm. Great throw on the money. Great timing. Puts the ball exactly where it needs to be. Touchdown. Great throw. Touchdown. That's what you want to see. Let's keep it going. In rhythm. In rhythm throws. The ball's coming out with pace. You're allowing your, receiver, you're allowing your receivers to make plays. And that's the biggest thing. I love this throw right here. This is a great throw. That's put in a tight window. The Keenan Allen. Let's see. Checks one side of the field. You come back. Hit DJ Moore. Oh, I got to say something right here. This is what I'm talking about with the Panthers. What type of zone are you running? I guess that's another backer. What are y'all doing? This is wide open. So I'm watching Caleb. I'm saying he's having a great day. We got to keep watching him because this team is bad. This is a bad team, the Panthers. It's a reason why they're one and three. A lot more than Bryce Young. He's a scapegoat. He's going to get the punishment. But, hey, good escape right here. Good decision to make, make a play out the pocket. It's funny with Caleb, though. He's always going to get hit and get put in a weird position, get knocked down, sort of like this running back. What are you doing? This has nothing to do with Williams, but I had to put it on here. This running back almost got sent back home. And I ain't talking about his house. You know what I mean? He almost got sent back home. But look, back to Williams. Great move. Great move. Look at it right here. Mm. Sets up the sets up the end. Get up. Get off me. I'm gonna score. But like I said, watch Buddy right here. Watch him. It's always a little some what? Always a little some extra. But it doesn't matter if you're making plays. Just keep making plays. This is what I meant earlier. When he gets in the pocket, he's a little panicked. He starts doing all these weird movements. It's too much. Get out. Have the clock in your head. Make a play. Get out. You don't have to look around a thousand times. You can't do this in the NFL and survive. You look too scared. You got to be precise. You got to make a decision. You got to move. When he, gets in this, when he gets in this type of bag right here, he's stuck. It's like it's, he's doing too much. He's, he's breaking tackles. He's escaping. But nothing positive is happen, happening. And he did a great job of he, great, he did a great job of being I don't know, really just exact with his movements early in the game. He has to stick with that. As long as he sticks with that, he's going to be good. He missed the tight end right here. Bad connection. I think the tight end is taught when he hits the sideline, if he don't get the ball to wheel up the field, a little miscommunication, but these are the type of players that get picked off and taken back the other way. Him at 85 got to get on the board a little bit better. I love this throw right here. It's a drop pass, but he checks the right side of the field. Nothing there. All these guys, it's a big, just like, you know what I'm saying, traffic jam. 2-1-3, nowhere to go. 
He sets his feet, comes back, and throws a bullet. You got to catch that, DJ. Got to catch that. Let's go to the next play.